you have seen very currently, all of the core streams are now changing towards HR. I give an example. Behavioral economics. Behavioral marketing. So where behavior is becoming very, very relevant and important. We just cannot ignore. The world is now going through a lot of competitions. Market has been opened up. Communications has, has taken a new dimension altogether. So in today's world, as a management student, it's very important for us to know the relevant facts and the fundamentals of HR. It is also a fact that once when we are here with all the stalwarts from the industry, we get to know the right directives. So it is definitely an opportunity for you and of course for me. But for being a moderator, I will take the privilege to organize this event as I want. Do you all agree? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, we have been discussing with the panel members. The flow will be like this. I will request the dignitaries to uh, give their presentations first and then we will discuss amongst ourselves about the you know the salient features of HR and at the end I will open the house to the audience. Okay? But the tasks become more difficult if we are working in the factory or the manufacturing unit. Because there are the complexity of the problems, balancing the union and management, balancing the employer employee relations. <coughs> Balancing the management and the government relations, there are a number of difficulties we have to face to run to the day-to-day -day affairs. And the overall objective is to give the smooth running of the organization without any troubles. I would like to share my one of the experience that will highlight the challenging in HR and with the innovative idea we have solved the problem in my one of the organization. That was the Hindustan National Glass, the factory is situated in Rishwar. The management has decided to go for automation of a shrink machine. The shrink machine used to pack the bottles from the production lines automatically. And after investing. Of course, uh, if I ask you to call me Arun, then uh, probably all of you start feeling embarrassed. Right? But then that is how uh, my culture talks to me. But thank you very much once again for uh, yeah, inviting me here and uh, I'm thankful to Professor Bhattacharya for inviting me here. Um, thank you Sonia for keeping in touch uh, with Ericsson. In fact, uh, organizations, uh, in fact I was having a word with uh, Rajesh and Ablan before we entered in this uh, room and we were talking uh, very sincerely that organizations, the good organizations, uh, reputed organizations who are uh, pretty sensitive about uh, you know what they're doing uh, uh, regarding their delivery in the industry. They are pretty sensitive about maintaining uh, uh, this academy industry relation, uh, that is, uh, industry academy relationship. That's absolutely essential, has become very, very important for many of us. Especially, I belong to a company, uh, you know, which is uh, named as Ericsson. It does not have its presence or its uh, brand presence. To now we are slowly, slowly moving into the topic, and I think it is going to be a very, very, very important session for you. Now, before uh, I ask Mr. Nath to uh, give a speech, I'll just ask you one question. How many of you do think that you know taking a walk in the morning and doing a workout really helps to keep you fit? Please raise your hand. Almost all of you. How many of you do it? Yeah, I know. Very few. So this is what is the difference between knowing and doing. We know a lot of things, but we do a very little. And the basic task of the HR fraternity is to convert this knowledge into work. And today we will we'll discuss about this. Now I would like to request Mr. Nag to talk to the student. Good morning to all of you. It reminds me of those ISWBM days when we were called in, we were told that industry will come, they will speak on the topics and we used to think, yes, another boring day, some people will come and speak and go away. So I would not be surprised and in fact I would be very scared to take a hand count as a day as to number of people who, who had felt that it would be a boring day. Most of you would have feel that way. 
and it's our duty to ensure that at the end of the day you go back with some amount of learning and with a much more focus as to what you you are expected to do when you come out from a business school. I think that is what is very important. I represent an organization which is called M Junction, which is a joint venture of Tata Steel and Sale. It's an e-commerce organization. And uh, it's a very different organization. The average age in that organization would be around 26, 27, because it's very new. We, formed, we were formed only 10 years back. Good. Okay, I'm, I, first of all, uh, okay, my name is Sobhita Biswal. I, am, I represent uh, Bata India Limited. I'm a part of HR team. I wouldn't say that I manage, I take care and all those stuff. I'm a part of HR team from Bata because I'm an employee there. I am a company. My company is not Right? I am a Karamchari. Good, good, good. Okay. So, uh, first, I'll apologize for the delay. Calcutta traffic, my house traffic, everywhere there is a traffic. Good guys. Uh, Lecture, speaker, I don't know. You can continue with this. Yeah. Well, uh, in our organization, in our industry, it happens uh, in a typical, you know, uh, it follows the business pattern. If you have a business from the market, then of course your manpower planning happens accordingly. We have a division called uh, Tactical Planning and Implementation which comes in the picture and they analyze the business. How much business is your, you know, as an organization, you are going to uh, expect or you're going to get in next uh, six months or one year time. And accordingly, we get a manpower planning, we get the numbers. You know, those numbers are finally approved by the local leadership as well as from the global leadership. And Precise on what are you talking about or? Because, uh, see, I have worked in six companies, so there are different profiles that I have hired. Oh, that would be more so enriched and absolutely. So, at present in Bata, guys, please understand we are into retailing. It's a high pressure job. Right? First and foremost thing we want to understand, the person is clear about where he is getting into. I go back to what I said before. I have to be clear that I need to get into human resource. I know where I'm heading towards. Tomorrow I don't want to complain, saying that, sir, I'm standing for 12 hours and working. I'm into sales. I'm not able to reach target. Right? Confidence level, clarity, learn and deliver. At present, Bada is looking for these three skills. Without confidence, no skill. Without confidence, you will not be able to walk into the interview room and speak for two minutes or five minutes. Without confidence, you will not be able to risk. I would not really restrict it for freshers as such. And I would like to overall speak on the topic. Look, when we started our job, the first thing our parents used to tell us is, get a good job. Is it very, is it, is it different for you guys? Okay. And then as you move up, the question is, did you receive a promotion this year? You know, the friend, my neighbor next door has got a promotion in three years time. What is, what is, what is the wrong with you? Why are you not getting so? And that's very natural. There's a race all around. First to get a good job and then to grow. Imagine if all start growing at the same pace. Then the pyramid structure which you have in the organization will be there. Are you aware of this pyramid structure of an organization? You cannot have people moving at the same pace all around. Man. That is why organizations are very clever and prudent to find out the tools called competence, potential assessment, etc. Because you cannot really move all people and not all people can move either. A special vote of thanks to all our eminent speakers and our academic head, Professor Deepak Bhattacharya, for making this event so successful. Now, we would like 
to request our Professor Deepak Bhattacharya to please hand over a small token of appreciation to our guest speakers. The student will wait because there will be some important announcement, right? Thank you, sir.